This is going to be video number 49 of your Firearms Defense Channel. I'm going to take this video and maybe part of the next one, depending on how this goes, to, uh, to show you a little bit of my uh, home security uh, system here that I have. So anyway, let's get started. The heart of my home security system, of course, is these uh, three uh, doors, these three entry doors I have secured by these, uh, these uh, cables and uh, heavy duty locks that I have here. I have one on two of my doors and one on the other one. Okay, as you can see, I have one on the front door here. And then for the kitchen door, I have these two things here as I showed everyone on earlier videos. They have one at the bottom there and one at the uh, top. So those form the foundation kind of of uh, my security system more or less. Now, I also have an alarm system here. And of course you turn it on or off. You can uh, turn it on when you stay at home and have it uh, on when you're inside and you can also turn it off when you're away and if you buy one of these ADT we'll be happy to show you how they work now I'll show you a little bit out front here now let's see I have to leave Mr. Glock here I can't go out front with him okay out front here I of course have the security door here in the front and I have the ADT sign right on the security door there. And also, if you'll note, you didn't see it on a previous video, but I used to have bars over that window there. My uh, late wife was a super paranoid type person. She made me put bars over that window. I never did like them. I uh, took them off just a couple of days ago. Bars over the window do two things. They keep you in when you have a fire and they uh, depreciate the value of your house and all the other houses in the neighborhood. So that's why I took them off. And if you have a chest of drawers in front of the window, as I do anyway, and a shotgun inside, it isn't necessary to have bars over the window. Now, when I'm out in the yard, I like to be armed. I don't like to be away from my weapon. Now, in the front yard here, as you can see, there's houses across the street there and cars and neighbors and everything else. So in my front yard here, I don't like to carry the Glocks. So in the front yard here, this is what I carry with me. And uh, it's a little bit better than nothing. So I carry this in the front yard with me. And uh, it can be uh, considered a tool that I utilize for yard work. So uh, in the front yard where everything is readily visible, I have that with me. Okay, that's everything about the front yard. Now, we'll go to the backyard right quick. Now, when I'm working in the backyard, I secure the front door there with the security uh, cable feature that I have. And I also secure this side door back here with the cable security feature that I have. And when I'm in the backyard, I'll of course leave this one I'll leave this one open for access in and out of the house, but I have two of the doors secured. Now, as you can see, I have a, quite an extensive backyard here, uh, with a lot of area in it, so I'm going to be a long way away from the house when uh, something goes on. So, for that reason, when I'm working in the backyard, I carry this gentleman right here with me, Mr. Glock. I, uh, carry him right in his little uh, Kydex holster right there and uh, he's readily available to me if I need him and uh, something happens. So that's my security for when I work in the backyard. 
Uh, when I'm in for the evening and I'm not going to go out anymore, I of course lock this door, take the key. As you can see, that's a, a deadbolt from the inside. Nobody could break the window and reach in and turn the knob anyway. In addition to which, I have two more things down here, so I bolt them for the evening and bolt the other two doors with that security feature I have and turn on the alarm mirror when I'm in, it says alarm in, and then you're all set for the evening. You can just settle in and watch TV or work on the computer and everything else. Now, here's one other thing I wanted to show you for security. Now, this of course is Mr. Sig here. You've seen him on an earlier video. Now, when I'm going to use the bathroom for any extended purpose, like a shower or something like this, I'll take him in there with me. But I drop the hammer on him, because here's what I do when I'm in the bathroom. Let's say I'm going to take my uh, shower, and uh, to be perfectly candid, when you're taking your shower, you're vulnerable. That's a, that's a time of vulnerability, because when you're in the shower, anybody can just kick in the door, and uh, there you are, you know. Uh, what are you going to do? So, what I do when I'm taking the shower, I secure the uh, three doors that I have with the security feature. And when I come in here to take my shower, I bring my SIG in with me and I put it in this holster that I ordered from SIG Sour for it. And it fits in the holster like a glove. You can see it hangs over the shower bar. That's just some stuff I bought at Home Depot to make a thing. And it fits right in here like this, locks in. Now, when I do that, I don't pull the hammer back on it. I'll, if I have to, I'll pull, one, I'll pull it out of here and I'll make the first one double action if I have to use it. But the way I, there's two ways to take this thing out of the holster. It's got a release right here that when you grab onto it like this, you just push the release and it comes right out in your hand. It's ready to go. Or if you want to, you can put two hands on it, which I can't demonstrate and hold the camera here, but uh, you, can, uh, you can put one hand on it like this and pull it out with the other hand if you're more comfortable doing that. Now, when you're actually taking your shower, what you do is you release this hook right here and take it out and it comes loose that way and it just goes right inside your shower and it just hangs right there. So it's readily available to you and uh, you're never, you're not cut off from your weapon so to speak. Okay that's uh, 748 into this and I uh, can't really think of anything else I wanted to put on this video. Of course on an earlier video as I've already told you when I'm working in the computer room I have Mr. Glock in the computer room and normally he sits right down there. Now there's one last thing I do. I think I've got time enough to do this. I'm only 8.15 into this. When I'm here in this room as you can see I'm cut off from the rest of the house and that door there and uh, of course in the bedroom Back here, I always have Mr. Sig with me. He's he rests right over there on the dresser. Uh, the shotgun is right there in the corner, Mr. Benelli. Uh, the only reason I have the shotgun there is for any repeat of the Rodney G. King riots. So say we have a thousand rioters come through here and they want to they want to burn Venice to the ground. Uh, this is a living room. I don't spend a lot of time in here, but. Uh, if I did, I'd uh, probably keep the Glock right there under a towel, you know, if I was watching TV for an extended period of time. And, of course, in the kitchen, when you're going to spend an extended period of time in here, just uh, lay your weapon on a table there and put a towel over it or whatever. Now, I know of people who do carry their weapon around the house who actually put it in a holster and put it on their belt and carry it full time around the house, but uh, I'm not all that paranoid. And uh, uh, look at it this way. One last thing in closing. All this seems like probably paranoid bullshit to most of the people watching it, but it's only paranoid bullshit until something comes down and you need your weapon, and then you're going to wish you had it. And that closes out video 49. See you on 50.